Hello everyone and welcome back to Canon Caffeine, my name is Isaac and we're back playing some Feed the Beast Monster. Now, uh, a lot has changed since last episode, actually, um, I did record an episode after last episode, so before this episode, but there was technical difficulties, it didn't work out, uh, so we're like an episode ahead, sort of. Uh, last episode, I made this, the smeltery, which, uh, for those of you who don't know, is just sort of uh, seared bricks, if typing at Tinkers, I'll come up with the Tinkers Construct stuff. Uh, it's basically mostly seared bricks, which are these seared bricks which are uh, just uh, grout in, uh, in a furnace. And grout's just sand, gravel, and clay. Now, I think at the end of last episode, we made all this stuff, and I made maybe... What did I make? Hmm. I've been throwing a lot of stuff around, so I'm not too sure where everything is at the minute. Uh, maybe... Oh, we made the uh, the lumber axe, didn't we? Uh, so, last episode, I made myself what's called a uh, an excavator. Now, an excavator kind of works like a shovel, but it digs out a 3x3 three three area, so it's kind of a bit more useful. Uh, that's this thing here. I'll just quickly show you what it does for those who haven't seen it before. If I run over here, if I just like dig here, it digs out a 3x3 three three area, which is kind of cool. And um, I used that to get all the sand and all the gravel I needed for the grout and all the clay even as well. So that's how I got all that. And then you just smelt it up and uh, make it to seared bricks. Now, a couple of episodes back, we made these portable tanks. Uh, and the other episode, I went to the nether because this thing here needs lava to run so i went to the nether i took the portable tanks with me i filled them all with lava i filled three of them with lava i think and then i brought them back so this one i just put here with a fluid duct uh, i'll quickly show you how fluid ducts are made it's just that's a wrench fluid ducts are just uh, copper and lead gets you six opaque fluid ducts and that's what this is here and then if you just right click on the tank like you see it starts off like this on input mode so you'll see it's taking the lava in from this uh, or that you can flick it th this way, I'll put it on output mode, and now the lava's going into this. And whenever this uses up some lava, it'll just take it from the tank, and it'll keep going. Um, now, in here, we have some blood, because an animal's walked in. Now, if we look at t -t 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 Mighty Smelting, you'll see that, if we go along here, blood, damaging entities in the smeltery. So, if any animal or something walks in here, we get blood. I think two things have walked in here so far. We've got two, we've got 45 millibuckets of blood. So, that's like a thousand millibuckets equals a bucket, so we don't have much blood at all. Even though it looks like quite a bit. Uh, sorry if I'm going a bit fast. I'm just trying to like round up everything that's gone on in the last couple of episodes. Just trying to remember everything. Uh, yeah, we went to the nether. We did that. Uh, I made these here, these um, plates. Now, how you make these plates is you've got to get some what's called aluminium brass. Now, aluminium brass is this stuff here. It's three aluminium and one copper. So basically, you just put three aluminium and one copper in here. And it will smelt down and just automatically mix up into aluminium brass. And then in order to get this stuff, like the creeper head face and the uh, the hammer head and the tough tool binding and such, you just make stone versions of these like we did before in here. So you'll make, you'll uh, you'll go to your stencil table, you'll put in your blank pattern, you'll go to the next pattern until you get the ones you need. Then you're going uh, here, you'll put the cobblestone with the uh, the, the, the uh, pattern that you want and you'll get the stone hammer head or etc. And then you can just throw that into here like this. And then if you just right click on the faucet with aluminium brass in here, you'll get these things here, these casts. So now, if I throw in, say, some iron, which I do have, I've got 29 iron here, which has been mining. If I throw in, say, some iron into here, now how much are we going to need? We need 8 for that, 8 for that, 3 for that, and 3 for that, that's uh, 67. 22 iron we're going to need, so 11 of this should be fine. I'll put 12 in just for good measure, but that should, actually we can't put 12 in at the minute, so I'll put that much in. And we'll just wait. So that's going to smelt them down. And hopefully we'll be able to make ourselves, this episode, a, um, a hammer from uh, Tigger's Construct. Which is actually kind of cool. Because it allows you to, uh, does what a pickaxe does and it mines. But it does like the excavator where it does a 3x3 three three area. So it helps mining uh, and makes it a lot faster. Now, speaking of mining, if I head down into my mine, uh, I've actually found a few more diamonds whilst I've been mining last episode. And uh, I like to show you when I mine diamonds because, I don't know, it's just a Minecraft thing. And uh, I'm hoping that we can get a quarry going this episode as well. So if I just head down here, this is sort of my mine. Uh, I've sort of just been going down and then just sort of strip mining down on like level 12, I think it is, or 13 maybe. Uh, diamond level 14 here, I guess. Uh, we found some diamonds here. I think we've got four, unless there's some behind maybe. Nope, just the four. We've got some essence ore as well, which is kind of cool. We can use this to grow up more coal if we would like. And if we head on down here, there's a nice ravine right at the end that you might be able to see in a sec when we get closer on the mini-map. Uh, but if we get over here... Gosh, this is a long tunnel. I didn't realise how long I dug for. 
Here we go. Look at this. And now there's a nice cave out here. It's got loads of lava, loads of obsidian, which is kind of cool. And you'll see there's a load of diamonds here. I think there's five I counted in total. Hopefully none of these are going to fall into the lava. There's some more iron there as well. Nope, nope. Ah, oh, you know. That annoyed, that's annoying. Uh, anyway, we've got eight there. And then I think there's some more. Yeah, there's two more there. So that takes us to ten. Do we have one more anywhere? Oh, it doesn't look like we do. I think we need 11 to make ourselves a, uh, a quarry. However, we do have a diamond pickaxe on the surface. And if I'm not mistaken, we can repair that diamond pickaxe using an anvil and one diamond, I think. Uh, we do have 21 levels, so we should be able to repair it. I'm going to try that um, because we need 11 diamonds. But the only reason we need 11 diamonds to make a quarry is because we need three for a pick. Now, if I... And we've only got two. Now, if I can use one of those diamonds to make our other pickaxe full health again, then we should hopefully be good to go. So, I've, I, I've left a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff that I'm not sure what it is. Um, I'll, I'll probably find a use for it at some point when we move into some of the newer mods, but at the minute I've just sort of left it, because my inventory were getting really full really fast. Like, look at this, it's just, it's ridiculous. And uh, I probably should have been getting more coal as well, but, you know. Um, like I said earlier, we've got like three tanks of, uh, of full of lava now, which is the same as three lots of eight buckets, which is like 24 buckets worth. Uh, of course, one of them's been taken up by the Tinker's Construct thing, but I think what I'm going to do with the other one is uh, sort of use it to power a geothermal generator for now until we can start pumping some lava out of the nether. So I think what I might do is either make some uh, magmatic dynamos or um, a geothermal generator from a thermal expansion. Now, I'm not too sure. I could make both, I guess, and I could have um, one of them going on the quarry and one of them going on the uh, the macerator and all wash over here. But what I think I might do is just um, just have them going on the quarry. I think I might just try and make the magnetic dynamos. But I think it depends how hard they are to make. I'm not too sure how hard they are. Hmm, we'll have to find out. Anyway, let's have a look. How, how do we make an anvil? I think we need like a butt ton of iron, don't we? Which we might not have. Anvil. We need three iron, three blocks of iron and four iron. So nine times three is 27, yeah. And then 28, 29, 30, 31. Gosh, we need a lot of iron. Uh, we don't have that much iron actually, so actually we can oh, we could probably get away with it actually if we massively the iron we've got. I'll throw it in here actually. So let's have a look. Look at this. We've got 20 molten iron ingots. Now if we throw the hammerhead in there, and it'll drain for a while because it's taking out eight eight ingots worth. And any time today, maybe you know. There we go. Gosh, that does take a while. <laughs> So there we go, we've got eight iron ingots worth there. Let's throw this. Oh no! Stop! Ah, oh, you know, every time. Every time. I wonder if I can melt this back down. Every time I accidentally right click on something I'm not supposed to right click on. Let's finish this off. Ah, you know, there we go. Let's see if we can smelt this thing back down. Maybe. I doubt we can. Oh, can we? It looks like it's doing something, so we'll find out soon enough. Um, oh, it looks like we can, actually, so we'll take that away. We can't do that just yet. We'll make the... Um, do we need a binding? Let me have a look. Let me quick check on this. Ah, okay, no, we just need a hammerhead, two creeper faces, and a tool rod. So, take that out. Put the tool rod in. We can make one of these real quick. And then, hopefully, once this is melted down... We should, how much iron do we have? We have one there and hopefully eight more there. We should then have enough. Oh no, we might not do actually, will we? Because then we've only got one creeper face. We'll have eight, nine. Uh, oh gosh, no, we're going to need some more iron in there. Okay, okay, fair enough. Right, what I'm going to do is throw some coal in here so that we can get this thing up and running. We'll throw the iron that we've got in there. So that should give us 44 ingots. So I think we'll probably actually have enough, hopefully, to make both the um, the iron hammer and our... Uh, oh gosh, we're going to need even more iron. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave this stuff here smelting down. I'm going to leave this smelting, which is actually done now, which is kind of cool. I can put this in. And I'm going to leave that doing that. I'm going to leave that macerating and all washing the iron and stuff. I'm going to go mine some more iron, because we are going to need it to make the quarry and this stuff and the hammer and everything else. Um, and the anvil even. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be back momentarily. Okay, I'm back. I've done some mining. I've got some iron and a little bit more gold. And I'm going to go to sleep before that skeleton shoots me in the face. Because it's dark and he's already trying to shoot me in the face. And he's still there in the morning. 
Uh, do I have a sword? I do. I do. Good stuff. Okay. I got this. I think. Oh, God. There we go. And I think... Well, let's go get this guy. This Isis dude. There we go. Look at this. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Let's have a look and see how our iron's doing. It's... Done, but we only got one in, didn't we? Okay. Uh, let's throw some more in here and let's run because that creeper's seen us. If that guy blows up anywhere around here, I will be very sad. Come on, creeper, where are you? Where's it gone? Oh, he's oh, staying there. Let's go try and. We're going to run through the treetops and try and lure him over here. I don't think I'm going to make this jump. Nope. No, not even close. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this guy to sort of like. Oh. I need a bow. Why do, why do I never have a bow? Come on then, you do biatch. Come on. Come on. Bring it. I don't mind if you blow up over here. It's fine. I didn't realize it was so weak either. Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. Well, let's have a look how this is doing. We're washing a lot of our walls, which is nice. We've got... A lot of stone dust. Uh, what are we supposed to have? Ah, that's nope. That's the wrong stuff. We got a lot of tiny piles of flipping egg. We got a lot of iron dust. Um, what happens when we wash this then? I forget. We get stone dust, that pile, and then are we supposed to get some stuff? Ah, there we go. Purified iron ore. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's throw this in here with some coal. How's this doing for coal? Not great. So I'll throw some more in. I think if we take like this, all this. What, what? That's iron dust and oh, that's tin dust. Okay. I think if we take all this t iron dust, I think we can actually make some. Yeah, look at that. We've got five more iron out of that. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. And I just threw some stuff on the floor, but it's fine. There we go. There's some of our seared bricks that I really don't have room for. So let's just dump some stuff away. Like all this crud that I don't need. We can put them somewhere else. I uh, kind of need those for now. Uh, let's take this out and cook up. Where did I, what did I do with the iron? I might have just dumped it in a chest. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll move on. We'll pretend we didn't see anything. Okay, there we go. All of our iron gets in there. We'll take this one out and we'll make another one. And then we should be able to go. We've got um, the iron rod, the iron hammer, head, and we're about to have two large iron plates, which is good. Which is good. So we'll take this, and then. Tool forge. Uh, there, 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 and there. Gets us an iron hammer with reinforced one on it, which is awesome. So now, just to show off what this thing can do, let's head over to, say, over here, where I can see this coal that I might want. And the zombie that I don't want. And let's see how good this thing is. So if I just sort of go and knock this, it is kind of slow, but then you look at this and it does knock out a three by three area, so hence why it's a bit slower. However, what we can do is if we head back over to our house and back over to our uh, tool forge, we can add some uh, some stuff to it. Now we've got a bit of redstone in there, but I think we have some more somewhere else, possibly. I do not have that much redstone. I thought we had quite a fair amount. Apparently not, we've got 23. So I'm not going to do that actually just yet, but what you can do is you can add redstone to your hammer and such to make it mine fast, or you can add lapis to make it mine, uh, to give it look like the, um, the enchantment. So that's kind of cool. So what am I going to do right now? Let's do macerate some gold ore. Let's put down some cinnabar, why not? I'm not going to use my hammer there because I don't know how dangerous it is. Uh, I'm just going to take this crushed iron ore and smelt it up because I really can't bother waiting for it to cook. And I want to get this uh, thing on the way, uh, this... Um, quarry so let's throw down oh god nope nope no almost had me fair enough flipping that's a big explosion for a creeper gosh <sighs> good thing i moved out of the way but now if we put an ingot cast we can just drain out the last of the iron and we'll have an ingot beautiful let's actually throw some more iron in here why not then we can use this to cook it up instead of uh, everywhere else so I'll cook some up in there, we'll take that out, and I'm going to leave the ingot cast in for now. How is this stuff doing? We've got some more, we can make ourselves at least one anvil, uh, one block of iron even. Two more in an anvil, and we will be good. Now, how do we make magmatic dynamos? Mag, in caps, why not? Magmatic dynamo, we need 
Uh, redstone transmission coil, which we can do. We need some invar, which is, I believe, um, pulverized iron and pulverized ferrous, if it hasn't changed. Yeah, iron dust and either nickel or ferrous. Okay. Do we have any ferrous? Uh, do, 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 doesn't look like we do, actually. I think we might have some in here. Okay, we've got six ferrous in there, which we can turn into 12 ferrous dust, which means I think we can get 12 invar. So we should, actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We should be able to get ourselves one magmatic dynamo. I might try and do that. Okay, let's take the ferrous. Uh, we'll throw it in our washer. We'll wait for the gold to finish. Why not? It's co common courtesy to wait for the gold to finish smelting before you move on, for all those who are wondering. <laughs> and uh, we'll take this and we'll throw this in here. Any day now. There we go. Okay. Can we not? Oh, you know. Wow. I wonder if we can grind stone ferrous. Because I really don't want to have to make myself a pulverizer just for ferrous. So let's have a look. Can we grind stone it? Looks like we can. Okay, I'm going to stand here for a bit, wait for the iron to smell, and grind down this ferrous, and I will be right back. Okay, so I came over here to um, to get the ingots out of the, um, of the Tinker's co uh, Construct thing, and it's actually instead drained the blood, because I think it drains whatever's on the bottom. And I'm kind of not bothered about that blood for now, so we'll just get rid of that and we'll just continue on with the uh, with the getting stuff normally. I think I've just thrown this uh, iron ingot cast over here, actually, yeah, I have. Okay, let's drag some more of that out. Uh, how is this doing? We've got enough, I think we've got enough now, actually, to make things. Let's have a look. We can make two more, ah, there we go, I think we should be good to go. So, like this, maybe? Is that not an anvil? Alright, let's have a look. Anvil. Ah, no, we just need one more. Okay, fair enough. And we've got an anvil. Don't make anvils that often, actually, so why not? Here we go. So I think if we find our diamond pick, which will be lying around somewhere, I'm hoping that... Look look at the damage. It's got, like, no damage done to it. I'm hoping we can fix this thing up. Yeah, look at that. It cost us one level, and we've got a perfectly brand new set of stuff. So now, what we should be able to do is make ourselves a quarry. Now, we're going to need more sticks. I can tell that right off the bat, so we'll get some more of this rubber wood, because we seem to have a lot of rubber wood and not much of uh, any other type of wood. So let's get a load of sticks. Let's make them into a load of gears. Oh, bloody hell, you know. Every time I do it. That will do for now. Uh, like that, there we go. That was probably the longest way ever to do that, but it's fine. We need all of them to be cobblestone gears. And we need to turn all of those into iron gears, which is where our need of iron comes in. Uh, how is this doing? We've got nine more in there. Take this out, set another one going. That's fine. How's this doing? It's trying to do the gold. That's fine. We do have some ferrous, which is nice. Uh, let's... Ooh. Um, hmm, I wonder if you can use... Let's have a look at how you make invar again. I want, I'm just wondering if you can use um, the purified stuff. Invar. We can take this stuff. I'm just going to see if this like flicks around and goes to industrial. How do I make this? Is it just through? It says the mass. Oh, okay. So if we... No, f fine. Um, if we master it up a few of these. That should turn into that stuff. And I'm going to turn this off because I don't want it to go out. I want it to stay there. Okay, so where were we? Take some more iron. We need to turn all these. We're probably going to need some more iron again because we don't really have enough. We need three iron ingots, three iron gears. Actually, I better check the recipe in case it's changed. Quarry. Don't think it has, though. And there's actually a new type of quarry in this called Quarry Plus, which I believe um, like mines up uh, like liquids and stuff, clears them all out of the way of stuff whilst it's going and all that good stuff. So it's kind of a better version, but it needs some really advanced stuff that we kind of don't have yet. So we're going to go for the normal one for now. Uh, yeah, just three iron gears, two gold gears, and two diamond gears. But that means we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, iron gears to start with. And we have two. So I'm going to sleep before the mobs come and eat me alive. And hopefully we should be able to get some more iron going tomorrow. All right, let's get some more of this. How is this doing for invar stuffs? We've got three, which means we should be able to make a piece of invar. So if we just put that... And that, oh, ooh, good, you get three invar per 
thing. That's very nice indeed, actually. Um, very nice indeed. So we'll take this out. We'll go get our thing from over here. The only downside to this thing is I think it actually cooks them up faster than most things does, but you got to drain it out one by one, which is actually a pain. Something we could do, actually, is um, make ourselves um, the deep one of these, which I can't remember for the life of what it's called. If we do at tinkers, uh, the basin, maybe? Yeah, the casting basin. If we make this, we can pull out uh, iron blocks at a time instead of just iron ingots, which is uh, which would make it a lot faster. Uh, we might have to move. We'll have to look into that. Anyway, uh, how's this doing? We're just gonna cook up some iron. Uh, actually, do we have any? No. Okay, I'm just gonna cook up some iron ore. I'm, I'm, kind of bothered at the minute. Let's do this with the stone gears, and we get some more. We just need three more now, and we should be good to go. We can make some more. Gosh, this thing takes a. L oh, it's out of power. Okay. Fair enough. Actually, we can make that casting basin thing right now. I think. If we just do this. Huzzah. Look at that. Uh, copper, arbory stuff. Don't need that. How much have we got left in here? Have we got nine left? Nine would be perfect. Eleven is fine. So let's break this and fall to our death. GG, Isaac. Good, good job. And the award for best Minecraft player for dying the most amount of times goes to... It's probably not me. I, I, don't, I, think, I think someone's probably died more than I have. Um, I mean... I might be wrong, but I hope I'm. I hope I'm. I hope I'm right. Probably lost half my stuff there because stuff likes to disappear when creepers explode, and I'm probably gonna die to a zombie in a diaper. Go! Oh my god! You know that feeling when all the mobs come out when you just like, when you die once, they all just come and attack you over and over and over again. Um. Oh my gosh! There's got to be a zombie spawner somewhere nearby. There has to be. Let's throw all these on. And get some more stuff. And then run for our lives. Back up to the surface. Uh, this way. Don't get killed by the zombies. Don't. Oh, I can't make that jump. But I want that iron cast. Ah, oh, forget it, Isaac. We'll make a new one. It's not worth it. Okay, whilst I climb this waterfall. I need. I really need to find a new way to get up this waterfall. Because oh, a way back up to the surface. Because this waterfall's a pain. Uh, let's eat some brains. Apparently, I can't eat whilst going up waterfalls. Is that just like the uh, the rule where you can't eat before you swim or something? Is is that what it's on about? Maybe who knows? But um, apparently, he's letting me know. Gosh, that was a bit of a kerfuffle. Here we go. Whew, that took some time. Right? Do we have enough stuff to do things now? Finally, probably not. We've got four iron gears. We don't seem to have any more iron on us, so we probably lost our iron because it's just flipping my luck. Um, we were doing the casting basin thing, wasn't we? That's what we were doing. Okay. We've still got the casting basin, and we can just drag out a full block of iron, and then we can craft that into nine ingots, and all will be well and good. Hopefully. If we're looking. Which we should be. I hope. Possibly. Gosh, that took a while. Okay. Iron block into ingots, and then iron ingots into these things. We only need three more, so I can put that one away. I think we should be good to go now. So there we go, we've got three more of those. Now we need some gold ingots, which we should be able to do with these, and our gold powder, which we have in here. We've got enough for uh, two, two more pieces of gold. Uh, we could probably do with actually taking half of those. Crafting. Actually, we've got a gold ingot on us. What am I talking about? Put this away. How are we doing on the pulverized iron front? We're doing nothing because we're still out of coal. Let's put some more in there because we're going to need more than three in bar. Come on, you can do. You can do this. Oh, and I just remembered we've got to do even more stuff. So, uh, you know, okay, I'm going to wrap this up here, actually, guys. Uh, I know we haven't got much done this episode. We've kind of just been, like, all over the place. Uh, but I'm going to actually go mine some more gold because we have, and that's not even gold, that's aluminium brass. We have two gold and now three. Uh, it turns out we need, what, 16, maybe? Because we need four for this thing. Then we need four more for this one, four for this one, and four for this one. Probably can turn it into a diamond one. So we are going to need at least 16 gold, and we just don't have that. We've got three, four, five, maybe. Uh, do we have any more, possibly? 
No, not 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 even close. So I'm gonna go mine some more gold ore. Hopefully we can get some more gold, and then hopefully next episode we will be able to uh, get this quarry up and running with the magmatic dynamo and all the other cool stuff. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, be sure to hit like, and you can check out some of my other videos on the outro screen now.